Hey folks, Dino here again. This time taking a quick look at um, a figure arts headset. Uh, yeah, this is the Kong Studios the Super Saiyan 2 slash Majin Vegeta headset. Um, and yeah, the only reason I've got this, to be honest, is because sellers on AliExpress are suddenly putting them way down in price. Like, I literally got this for a fiver, which is a bargain. Um, <laughs> um, I mean, when we see the faces in a wee bit, you'll probably see why they were reduced. Because this is one of Kong's first attempts um, from a couple of years ago. And it shows, let's be honest. <laughs> um, I do have the Tonson Art Toys Majin Vegeta headset coming. Um, it shipped the other day. And yeah, those ones I'm really looking forward to. This one will mostly just be a Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. So yeah, um, I would say let's take a look at the box, but there's literally nothing to it. Um, it's just a silhouette of Majin Vegeta grimacing, which is bizarre, seeing as how there's no grimace in this set. <laughs> um, Kong Studios logo and a yellow to signify what version it is. So yeah, box is out the way already. <laughs> Now, let's take a look at the head, shall we? I'm showing it on the Demonico Fit uh, Majin Vegeta body. It mostly fits. The peg's a little small, um, but it doesn't fall off or anything. It does still click into place. So, yeah. Um, this is the head itself. Um, they have attempted to make it look like Super Saiyan 2 as much as possible. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, it, it does look decent for what it is, especially for what I paid for it. Um, I think when it first released, this was going for, I want to say about 30 quid, which is a bit steep for this, to be honest. Um, the Tonson Art Toys one is about the same price, but I can justify that because of the sheer quality of that one. So yeah, um, but the faces themselves look decent enough. Um, they're a little bit shiny, but all of the details are in the right place. The only thing they really didn't seem to get right with this set is the mouths. Um, yeah, this one's probably the best mouth, and it still looks a bit shallow, if that makes sense. But they're based off the official sculpt. Um, you can't actually put the official ones on this head if you really wanted to. <laughs> I don't see why you would want to, but yeah, uh, decent enough. In terms of other heads, you get this one. The choices, like just in general of this, are a bit strange. Um, this one, like I would have expected this to come with the M and like eyes but for some reason it's no M and no eyes I'm not sure where this has come from to be completely honest with you I mean the, the details are nice I just wish there was eyeballs <laughs> um, but yeah this one does have the M there we go uh, it does have the M, and yeah, you see the the mouth is literally just a line, and it kind of looks off, which is a bit of a shame. But it is looking off to the side, which is notoriously something Tamashi didn't give us correctly, and you ended up having to send away for. Um, but yeah, decent enough. And finally, the stern looking forward face, which kind of looks like he's chewing his gum, the way the mouth has been designed. But yeah, you get it at the right angle, you can see the line. But yeah, Kong Studios have come quite a long way since making this set. 
which is a good and bad thing. I just wish they would reissue this with better paint apps and maybe a better sculpt. But yeah, um, all in all, it, it's a decent wee set, especially for the price I paid. Um, let's have a look at them compared to the official, or the demoniacal fit versions, I should say. So that's them there. You can definitely see the difference in the sculpt, things like that. Uh, but yeah. That's the smirking face, as you can see. The M's look almost identical, almost as if Kong has just straight up copied them, to be honest. That's the stern face, which Kong didn't put the M on for a reason. And finally, the maniacal, <clears throat> maniacal laughing face, which, yeah, you can see here, those veins are in the exact same spot. So yeah, I think what Kong did was they took this sculpt, kept the face the same, which is probably why the details are a bit lacking on the the headset, and just re-sculpted the, the head, to be honest. But yeah. All in all, like I said, it's it's a decent set. I do just wish that they would have put a little bit more effort into it. Because it does make a really good Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta head sculpt. And yeah. But all in all, it will still be going in my display. It not as Majin Vegeta, as I said, but where's the other faces? There we go. So yeah, it will be going in my display, just not as a Majin Vegeta. <laughs> so yeah, guys, um, if you can find it for the same price I did, a fiver, I would definitely say to pick this guy up. Uh, I think they do Super Saiyan Blue and Ultra Ego versions as well both at the same price uh, but yeah guys that'll do it for this review i'll see y'all later